Okay, so we're back. Um, my opponent just sent me the challenge, and we're just gonna hop right into it. So yeah, they bring P2. Let's see if they brought Terra Dark. No, they brought Terra Fighting. Okay, interesting. Um, open Terra. I forgot to mention that as well, so my opponents can see my Terra. But yeah, they did bring a bunch of Terra Fire, or at least Terra Fire on the guy there. Um, Terra Steel is interesting. I wonder what that's for. Which means you die to my Weather Ball and the Venusaur, which is good. Um, you still die to Magmortar, which is also good to know. I think here I'm just going to go with Thunderous and Magmortar. I think it matches up pretty well versus their team. And in the back, I think I'm still going to go with Mammoth Swine and, and Amherst. Or, yeah, Mammoth Swine and Amherst here. Because I can Scary Face myself to get Speed Boost. I can also Scary Face my opponent to get Speed Drops. I can Eerie Impulse myself. And Mammoth Swine just has a pretty good matchup here in general. So I think I'm going to bring these. I could also bring Venusaur over the Mammoth Swine here, but I think having an answer to Landers in the back is going to be helpful, especially if we're leading something like Thunderous Magmortar. So Obama Snow and Iron Bundle is going to be my opponent's lead. They're going to set that up. I think I'm just going to go straight for Sunny Day, Terra Fairy, and Heat Wave. Um, most of my game plan was um, centered around just hitting with Magmortar, so I'm going to go for that. Uh, there's not much that they can do here. I mean, you can switch into camera, but you're going to take a really lot of damage. And even then, I can still get positioning with partners. And Eerie Impulse will also be annoying for my opponent. Okay, so they do Terrify. Set up Sunny Days. They go for Double Blizzard. Or Blizzard. Life Orb, okay. Hopefully we hit. We do. Amazing. Let's see what Obama goes for here. Aurora Veil. Which fails. Uh, P2 comes out. And I think we can just go for a Taunt onto that and go for a Eerie Impulse into the Obama Snow. And there's not much that my opponent can really do here. They will really struggle to do much. If they want to attack with B2 here, that's cool. They also get an attack boost. Um, so yeah, Blizzard are going to come out here. Going to hit the Eye Magmort are going to take like nothing and they can't trigger. So this is just a really unfortunate situation for my opponent because they're just not doing any damage. Um, here I think I can honestly just go for um, an Eerie Impulse into the P2 and go for Heat Wave. That's just for Landers, that's cool. We can Scary Face that next turn, and if they are clearly we will find that out. That's a really unfortunate miss. Um, Terra Blast does like the smallest damage. I'm just gonna Scary Face here and go for Overheat. If they switch back out into a bomb, some good play, but... I'm not too worried about that. I think Scary Face and Orphe will just like up with my opponent. Okay, they set up the hail again, so they will probably Scary Face. They're not Clay Amulet or White Herb. Okay, good to know. Overheat does 44, so that means some are not also okay. And we get a burn chance too. We get okay, burn. That's fine. Uh, and Mammoth Swine's just in a really prime position to just come out here. Yeah, they've already used their tire on the Obama Snow. Um, and now we actually have Weather Ball Ice, which is cute. So. I think I'm just going to go for high horsepower here and a weather ball. So the cute thing about Thick Fat on Mammoth Swine that I was talking about is that we are taking less from the two, which is nice. So we're all going to come out here. Not do the most, but let's see if we connect high horsepower. We do, and we pick up the kill on the Obama Snow. That's amazing. Um, I think here I can just Eerie Impulse and go for Icicle Spear. And this should realistically just allow me to win. I don't see how my opponent gets out of this, even if they're Yachi Berry. Um, yeah, like I don't see how they win. Like we have the defense boost in the snow as well, so they can't really break Mammoth Swine here. We already saw that they are Stomping Tantrum, so that's heavy indications of a physical set. So we get that off, and we actually do outspeed with the Mammoth Swine here, which is cool to know. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, We'll go right into game two. Are there any adjustments that I'd like to make? I don't think so. I still think that my lead is fine. I think it was really commanding. Um, based on the Pokemon that they brought last time, I'm going to guess that they bring camera up this time. So I kind of want to bring... Um, I could bring Mamoswine on lead here. It's not the worst. Uh, 
I could also go with Venusaur on lead, but I don't have Sleep Powder to hit the uh, Porygon. But I need Taunt to stop the Trick Room. Um, and I don't really want to get Camera Upted under Trick Room either, so... Let's think about this. I think Memeswine is fine here. In the back, it seems pretty well, but I don't know. I feel like they're going to adjust with Camera Upted and it's not going to do as hot. I can go with Venusaur here, and go for an Amorous. Do I want an Amorous? Amorous has Focus Dash, which is helpful, so I think I'll bring that. Ursaluna and P2, okay. My opponent goes for that. I think I will just Eerie Impulse and Terra Taunt. Let's see what they go for here. Taunt. Ice beam. That's cute. Don't freeze me. Cool. Hyper voice comes out. Is that throat spray? It is throat spray. Um, I can go for another eerie impulse and start throwing off heat waves. I don't see an issue with that. Terrifying is interesting, but I, my guess is for good dynamics going. Heat wave, yeah, you can see even then without the uh, sun day up. That is a lot more. You can't mind. That's cool. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna s try to save Thunders here and go for a taunt into the Ursaluna. We shouldn't be taking anything from um, the Ice Beam's gonna do a cute mount. Yeah, the main thing is like the freezes. I don't want to get frozen here. Um, so I can re taunt that and go for a. Honestly, you kind of just want a sludge bomb and taunt still. Okay, sludge bomb. I was trying to read a bomb on the switch, but we can get a poison here as well. We can get a poison. That's unfortunate. We just start taking the damage, which is not ideal. I think here I can just go for Heat Wave and Giga Drain now and just cover for the fact that my opponent can't switch. Yeah, so this should kill the Ursaluna. Yep, we get some HP back as well. It's a very hefty jump. It's like, yeah, that's like. Half of what Ice Beam is doing, so that's nice. Um, bundle comes out here. We no longer have an Ice Resist, which is not helpful. Um, I think I will go for Giga Drain and Protect. Okay. Let's see, they're gonna go for the 100% accurate. Blizzard! Blizzard! Blizzard come out. I will click Scary Face and Heat Wave. Or I can click Sunny Day Heat Wave. Sunny Day Heat Wave. They're probably protecting Iron Bundle this turn, but I can't do anything um, with my Thunders. I think they played really well. Let's see. Blizzard Double Miss? Nope, that just outcoes my Magma Order. I think we're going to throw this. I threw this game. Insane. I'm not surprised, though. This is me. Um, this is how most of my matches go. Yeah, I think I really just got, like, out pinned. I should lead a bomb, uh, magma, what is his face? I'm just this time. Okay, yeah. I think I should have forfeited before to not reveal the focus sash, but... I thought there was a chance they might protect or something. Um, Mammoth Swine looks pretty good here. I'm gonna go Mammoth Swine, Magmortar, and then like Thunders and Venusaur. If we can position Fire Terra um, Venusaur here, I think we can do a good job of winning. Let's see though. Um, I expect my opponent to go with the late game Obama Snow. And yeah, they do go camera. Okay, they do actually lead Obama Snow. Interesting. Um they got by heat wave and that. Or I can also taunt them and just high horsepower this slot.
Let's see. I think Taunt is fine here because it stops anything from clicking anything in the back. And then High Horsepower will always do a great amount into Camera Up. The worst play here for me would be, okay, yeah. Horsepower, Oko's the Camera Up. Taunt into the Bomb Snow. Go for Leaf Storm to Oko, Mammoth Wine. Not the best trade, but it's also not the worst because they did use their Terra and they are at minus two right now. Um, yeah, anyway, back to this. I think we can really just click uh, Sunny. Oh, I can go Fire Terror here too. I think, honestly, Eerie Impulse and Taunt. It's fine. They don't seem to have Protect. Iron Bundle comes out. Yeah, that's cool. Freeze beam. Don't freeze me. <laughs> it, like the freezes are always the um the freezes are always the scariest part here. Um and go for scary face and overheat. I think that would kill. Or I can go for Sunny Day and Protect. I don't think there's anything wrong with Sunny Day and Protect. Actually, no, I do have my Yachi Bear used, so I think I'd rather just, like, click this. Right? Please hit. Yay, Mag Mortar. Good job, Mag Mortar. Nice beam. Don't freeze me. That's very, very bad. I needed to be able to get off a Sunny Day. Um... Ah, this is losable now, I believe. I think I'll go for Taunt into... Stay Frozen, which is not helpful. I can always Taunt that slot. And I think I'll go for Fire Terra. And Earth Power. And Taunt the P2. Earth Power. Set up. Drop the stuff. No freezes. No freezes. No freezes, no freezes, no freezes, no freezes, no freezes, no freezes. Thank you. Cool. Um, I think we will always be able to win this 1v1 now. Because keep wait. As long as we get freezes. Because we can just taunt them to prevent them from going for recoveries. Um, and Sledge will always do chip here. We can also just get a poison here, hopefully. Beautiful, yeah, that's just gonna speed up things a lot more for me. And this is basically right. they can't um, rest or go for anything here, so I can actually just go for Giga Drain to get a bit of healing back and taunt, making sure that they can't go for rest or um, recover or any healing moves. And yeah, that's just gonna be uh, that was a pretty fun set. Um, so we are one and one now. So that feels a lot better coming off a win instead of a loss. Yeah, I think my prep was pretty good this week. I didn't get any mocks in, but I was able to just like really theorize that like Thunders plus Magmortar really shut down. We saw that in game one completely and game two when I actually like played right. Um, so yeah, GG's to my opponent. Really fun team from their end, like, or at least their draft. Um, like a mono hail, which is really hard to pull off, but I hope they do well. I think it's a really fun team. I think it's got a lot of potential if you can play it right. And yeah, I'll see you next time.